Okay. So what happens when you start believing that these beliefs, that these patterns are true? Well, it undermines you completely. Right. You become more certain about the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. And then do you tap into more potential or less? Way less. 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 Do you take more action or less action? Less. Way less. And then your result? Lousy. Lousy. No Lousy. result. No, no result, right? And then you say, see, I told you, it's not me, it's the market. Mm -hmm. It's not me, it's a mortgage company. It's not me, it's that crazy seller. It's not me. Have you mm -hmm. been here before? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> right? deep, right? absolutely, and that's when I go into the confidence thing. What happens to your level of confidence? Do it, just do it, don't okay. tell us, just do it. So, my only question is, what happens to your level of confidence when you start believing that these limiting beliefs are true? Hmm, no confidence. None, right? You become more certain about the wrong thing. And then you do, do you tap into more potential or less? Less. Right. Less. You take more action or less action? Less. less. And then your result? Less. Less is zero, right? Awful. So what if you have a new belief? What if your new belief is I am an absolutely outstanding agent and doesn't matter what is going on out there, I, I produce results. Hmm. And any client would be crazy not to work with me because I always go the extra mile for them and for myself. What kind of belief is that? Outstanding. Yeah, Outstanding. Outstanding. It's an empowering belief. What kind of potential do you tap into with that kind of belief? Oh, a lot more. Pedal to, to the metal. Pedal to the metal. What if you were to destroy these beliefs? What if you were to destroy these beliefs and patterns and start taking massive action? You started prospecting every day. You started asking for referrals. You started networking. And when you met people at these networking parties, you said, I am a realtor. I can help you. I'm like, well, you know, the market. Right. You really started taking all this massive action. You looked at your cell phone like it was a cash register. Cha-ching, cha-ching. <coughs> you start taking all this massive action. What is your result going to be? Damn, I'm good. Yeah. Damn, it's a is it going to be better than what it was? Heck yeah. Sure. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And in that moment, all of a sudden, your brain says, The market doesn't matter. Nobody knows. This is working. This is working. And then do you tap into more potential or less? More. 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 Do you take more action or less action? More. More. And then your results. Better again. Even better. Then you are one of those people walking around saying, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm making money. Mm -hmm. You guys know anybody like that? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. This success system, this right here, is how the rich become richer and the poor become poorer. Think about it. Do you guys know somebody who started with absolutely nothing and today they are wildly successful? Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. And do you also know somebody who was given every opportunity in life? Their hand held through life. Come on, let's go. And today, that person is useless mm -hmm. to themselves and other people. We truly have the most amazing computer ever invented, ever created. It's our mind. And every computer runs a what? Program. Right? A program. The program that you are running for your health, for your career, for your relationships, for your life, is literally dictating the results of your life. Because the beliefs that you have about your life equal the results that you'll get. Write that down. Your beliefs equal your results. Mm -hmm. So now, I want you guys to take a look and the reasons that you wrote down why you haven't been able to achieve what you really want. Okay, why you haven't been able to achieve those nines and tens. Mm -hmm. And I want you to ask yourself, are these new beliefs or old beliefs? Meaning, did you just start saying this stuff to yourself a week ago, a month ago, or have you been saying it for a very long time? They did a study at Stanford University and in this study, it shows that by age five, we have developed 50% of our patterns. We develop another 45% by the time we're 18. So we're going into adulthood with 95% of our patterns. But let me ask you, 
are some of you using strategies from when you were 18 years old for your life today? Mm -hmm. And how is that working out? Not very well, right? So now, I want you guys, we want to do something together. I want you guys to take your hands, and I want you to go like this, okay? And you, keep your pen in, you can keep your pen in your hand, just go like this. And now I want you to go like this. Okay? I want you to put your coaching hats on. Got them? Okay. Firm? Awesome. Good job. Now, you guys are all coaches. What does a great coach do? Watches. And great advice. Watches? Tells, what else? Tells, tells the truth. Tells the truth? Yeah, absolutely. Does a great coach ask tough questions? Mm. Yes. Okay, so now I want you to imagine that you're coaching somebody. You're coaching somebody that you really care about. You're coaching somebody that you want you really want to see succeed. Mm. You're coaching somebody that you know is not doing half of what they really could be doing. I want you to imagine you're coaching yourself. And I want you to ask yourself some tough questions. I want you to take a look at the reasons why you haven't been able to achieve what you really want. And I want you to ask yourself, in the past, have these patterns, have these beliefs affected my career in a good way or a bad way? Bad. 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 Have I missed out on business opportunities because of these patterns? Yes. Yes. Have they taken their toll on my health, on my weight, on my energy level? Mm. And what have they really brought me? Happiness or stress? Stress. stress. And more import most importantly, how have these beliefs and patterns affected the relationships with the people that I care about the most? So now you guys have your coaching hats on, right? Scotty, you've got your coaching hat on. What Coach the team. What is the danger? What is the cost? What are the consequences of not changing these patterns and these beliefs? Oh, uh, stay the same. You stay the same, right? No money. No money. No money. Right? No money. No honey. So it stays the same. Now everybody says. A lot of people say, "Hey, man, it's going to stay the same." Now, okay. Let's say we take this chair. We take this chair. We put it outside for one year. We come back in one year, do we have the same chair, better chair, or worse chair? Worse. 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 Absolutely. After a year out there in the sun, the heat, the cold, the weather, this thing will have fallen apart and deteriorated. If it's even there anymore. Life is the same way. If you don't take care and nurture the things that are the most important to you, they fall apart and they deteriorate. Or they might not be there anymore. The number one reason why people don't have what they want is the story they keep telling themselves about why they can't have it. And they'll share this story with everybody. Right? They'll say, oh man, I was totally going to do that, but let me tell you what happened. And they go right into it. So, can we control the economy? No. No, no absolutely not. Can we control other people? Well, yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Personally. Right? Depends on who you ask. Yeah, yeah. Right? Here we can control. Right? You guys can influence, but really, you can't control much. Let's say, okay, let's say things could stay the same. Let's say we come back in one year and nothing has changed, okay? You have the same economy, same office, same leaders, right? Same clients. Nothing changes on the outside. But you, you change on the inside. You destroy these patterns and beliefs. You step up. You start taking massive action. You remember that your potential, too, is unlimited. You start taking all this massive action. Would your life look a little different a year from now? Sure. Yes. Would you be making more money? Would yeah. Would you be making more money? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Would. With all that massive action, you better believe it. Would your health have improved? Mm. Yes. And... What about your relationships? Mm -hmm. Will they have improved? Sure. They absolutely will. Because when you are making it happen at work, when you're taking care of your health, when you go home, you're not tapped out. You have more to give. So absolutely will it improve. So now, you, we imagine, so now, you're taking all this massive action.